Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Mid-South Wrestling Review for the 18th of May, 1985. And uh, we continue with some good angles, actually. Uh, Hacksaw Duggan basically says he can see a little bit better this week. He says he will be able to see more completely and perhaps fully forever if he continues the medical regimen they have in mind. He's unsure if he will ever wrestle again. Uh, Skandor Akbar challenges his suspension, says he was never given a fair trial, says that uh, Duggan deserved what he got, says they cannot prove that he was in any way intentional. He calls what happened to Duggan an accident and says that he will run Mid-South again. Jake the Snake Roberts versus the Snowman in the, I believe, final for the uh, television championship tournament. I'm not necessarily... A fan of this it doesn't necessarily seem that that has been uh something that that has gone exceptionally well uh snowman holds on to roberts for the several first several minutes with the side headlock and roberts backs off roberts so cool though just you kind of see his facials he's leaning back he's he's uh um just just very awkward for the first few minutes Go, rolls to the outside uh manages to to get get some some tie in, holds on to the arm of the snowman for quite a few minutes there. Snowman comes back and is uh, less uh, ready. Meanwhile, the barbarian makes his way to the ring to support Jake Roberts. Uh, several chops. Snowman unimpressed with the chops across the chest, and Roberts uh, manages a duck and a um, I guess you'd say a backdrop. Roberts cannot rock the man though. Big um, body slam by the snowman, and he hits a second one. He continues to be uh, very assertive, aggressive. Roberts uh, being backed up pretty well here. Um, Barbarian gets gets attacked on the outside, or wants to plan an attack on the outside. Roberts rolls the outside, trying to gain regain composure and advantage. Doesn't get what he wants out of that. Meanwhile, uh, tries to sink back in and... Uh, uh, there is a Irish whip by the snowman. Snowman hits a power slam, almost like an old uh, junkyard dog power slam. Gets the victory. One, two, three. He is your new television champion. Winning the $10,000 um, uh, prize as well as other things. Gilbert and the Nightmare versus Reagan and Jackson. Gilbert finds the general uh, Eddie Gilbert back in the ring. Uh, Gilbert here has not found his niche, but does over the next several years. Um, Eddie Gilbert, a major star in this area, among other things, for the next little while. Gilbert uh, backs his, Reagan back into the ropes. Reagan having coming back just a little bit before. Uh, Eddie Gilbert flustered on the outside again. We saw the nightmare causing lots of chaos in the area over the last little while cross body by uh mike jackson from the second rope and an enziguri uh i'm actually not a fan of the fact that uh gilbert didn't sell the enziguri very well at all tag off to the nightmare nightmare breaks the match down uh, jackson gets kicked in the midsection and uh Nightmare manages to go to town on his opponent. Tag back to Eddie Gilbert. Um, Jackson tries to come back to his feet. Does not get there all the way. Um, sunset flip attempt and the holding on to the arm by um, by the Nightmare. And again, kind of see the Nightmare shooting him up uh, in the corner with chops and punches. Nightmare probably one of the more aggressive people in the area. Um, backbreaker from the Nightmare on uh, Reagan. Reagan coming back in. Eddie Gilbert coming back in as well. Uh, Nightmare manages to get a victory after uh, a pile driver on Reagan for the win. Uh, we then see the interview where uh, the snowman claims his prize for winning the television championship tournament. Basically says he wants to go change the world. He's ready to fight anybody, Jake Roberts, Ted DiBiase, anybody else. Uh, says he wants to go and make the world a better place with the money that he has won. Uh, then we see Terry Taylor demonstrate the figure four leg lock. Obviously, Ric Flair coming to town as the NWA world champion. And Taylor 
in line as, I believe, still the North American champion to be able to uh, defeat him. Uh, then we go to DiBiase and Dr. Death versus uh, Steve Casey and Terry Daniels. Um, kind of shows how weak the tag team division is in all honesty, that this is the type of tag match you put on the uh, program here after just getting new champions not too terribly long ago. A bunch of quick, uh, a bunch of quick matches here, and um, but DiBiase kind of breaks down his match. Um, Williams coming in and or Williams uh, being worked over by the opponents, kind of fireman's carry takeover. Uh, DiBiase again, former multi-time tag team champion, former um, North American champion. Williams still trying to find his sense of purpose in the area. Uh, DiBiase comes in, opens his uh, opponent up pretty hard, and a duck of the duck of the head leads to a uh, temporary small package. DiBiase though cuts thing, gets cut off, uh, has to fight back, hits a couple forearms, manages to fight back pretty aggressively. Shoulder tackles, uh, leapfrog by the adversary. Shot under the chin, DiBiase with a uh, good series of maneuvers. Big attempted uh, uh, backbreaker and hit by Williams. Williams again with the backbreaker, still in control of the match. Tag off to DiBiase. DiBiase gets bounced around for a little bit. Uh, Terry Daniels almost uh, goes for the crossbody, but uh, uh, the cutoff of... Steve Williams, followed by the figure four of DiBiase, win for the Tag Team Champions. Uh, the Barbarian against Ken Glover is up next. Obviously, the Barbarian relatively untouched. Uh, Jake Roberts says he wants the challenges. He wants to get even with the snowman. He wants to get even with everybody in Mid-South. And he is going to unleash the Barbarian on Mid-South as his form of... I don't know that punishment would be the right word, but I don't have another. Anyway, uh, the Barbarian is obviously going to be dominant in this type of match and maneuver and Barbarian has yet to really be challenged if we're completely honest uh, hard shots by the Barbarian and he, he gets uh, several opportunities there uh, takes on the man in the corner kind of kind of pushing him around Glover not a challenge for the Barbarian at all forearms and then a vicious uh, hip toss out of the corner uh, the guy doesn't take that great a bump for it, but it doesn't really matter because the Barbarian is in control. Body slam, leg drop, and the Barbarian uh, sends the man off. Double chop to the throat. Roberts on the outside looking calm and cool and collected. Not the least bit worried about what's going on in the ring, although does make uh, some motions of happiness when his man gets a offensive maneuver. Could have beaten him, but pulls him up off the campus after a clothesline and a second rope uh, Close line Barbarian manages a big boot right under the chin and uh, pulls him up again. Certainly the, the torture is what's here. Uh, Full Nelson and the Barbarian gets the submission victory. Uh, Chang and Clark versus Brown and Armstrong. Brown and Armstrong, obviously a relatively new tag team. Armstrong still trying to look for a place to be after his... Um, foray into the North American Championship picture, which got him over a little bit, but at the same time, he never really uh, uh, cemented himself as a main eventer, even with that run. Uh, that's there. Brickhouse Brown obviously upgrading, though, by being in there with his adversary, and Brown comes in, hits uh, front face lock, snaps the man over, stays on the front face lock. Brown is not willing to do anything but be at his best. Tag off to Armstrong, goes for the, the arm. Armstrong comes back, gets caught in the midsection with a uh, short uh, knee and uh, finds himself on the receiving end of a body slam. Gets out of the way pretty quickly, though. Although Armstrong taking shots from a enhancement talent, probably not the best for business. Anyway, tag, blind tag, uh, atomic drop by Armstrong, and... Uh, uh, Brickhouse Brown kind of with a, I guess, falling forward headbutt. Gets a victory there. A look at uh, Brickhouse Brown dancing in a nightclub, followed by Brown and Armstrong issuing a tag team challenge to the champions. And any other team in Mid-South is the way we close the program. And we will be back to finish off the month of May 
here in the Mid-South Wrestling Series.